I am going to see if I can show you guys how to thread a Husqvarna Sapphire 85 sewing slash embroidery machine. All right, I already have my embroidery thread up here. I don't know how I'm going to do it one hand, but I'm going to try. Let's see if this is going to be a fail or a success. As y'all can see, I got my lawn chair taken apart and I got it under the hoop. So... I did this part first, the side of the part. I did that a couple of days ago. And then since it wasn't even, just to even the spot that I wanted to add something right here to make it look like it wasn't uneven. But anyway, let's go back to embroidering. Not embroidering, but trying to thread the machine. All right, so this is my thread. I'm going to pull it and it goes around. This piece right here and take it around that. It goes around the silver piece right here. You take it around that. And then you go take it around. I'm trying to stay in focus, but I'm trying to look at the same time. All right, you take it around the silver piece. Then you go under. this piece not this piece right here this is only for if you are going to be winding a bobbin then you would take and go around this but we're not winding the bobbin so you bypass that and then you see it's like a little trail you come around and go around here and you can look down in there Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm all off, but you come on down here. And you wrap around here and you go up here. And this is the little tricky part, like me stand up. All right, you see down in here, you see where I got my thread? You gotta come around this way and make sure you hook it. See how it hooked on? To the piece over there it hooks on to that and then you come down I don't know how much of this I can show because I'm one handed I don't even know if this is going to even work y'all but you see this piece right here you're going to take your thread and you're going to go see this little piece right here you're going to go behind that yes excuse my fingers they are ash i've been eating oranges so yeah they're stained yeah i figured this was going to be a problem with me trying to show y'all with one hand wish i had somebody that could be in here but my husband is asleep and my children are playing their games so i'm not even going to bother them oh i got it y'all see and then comes in right there and normally you would have the automatic um threader which is right here but like i said i um like the second day i broke that well it's not broke it's bent and all i have to do is um pretty much put the little piece back like unbend it or whatever to where the little eye comes through the hole right here and y'all see i need to clean my machine look at all these little scraps of um pieces of the thread and this will mess your machine up if you don't clean it up i'm telling you so all i have to do is just thread this thread into the eye right here but i'm gonna have to put the phone down because i'm gonna have to cut it the tip of it because it's a little unraveled. Maybe I can get it in there. Did I? No, I'm going to have to cut it. Let me get these scissors and see if it'll let me cut it, y'all. Well, I know I can cut these. I like my good scissors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip this little end right here. And then we're going to go back to see if I can put it in the hole. 
while I'm on the phone with y'all. While I'm making a video. Yay! I got it through. Don't pull it out. Yay, yay, yay. And for some reason, like I always tell y'all, I always I stick it under my foot. I don't know why, but that's just what I do. And I'm done. And just push it to the back, y'all. I can't believe I actually threaded this machine, y'all, with one hand. All right, so I'm going to lay this down so that it can get itself together while we're um before I start um embroidering again. Just gonna pull it and wrap a little bit of the thread back up. So now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the um, start button and it's gonna start with the black thread and which this is the last step. So what it's gonna do is gonna put the um the last and stitch around as you can see right here the black stitch that goes around that's your last stitch and it's pretty much locking everything in so i'm going to go ahead and hit the start and let's ready to rumble all right and let me stop it once again because Y'all know I gotta get this little piece of um thread that's right here. Well, can I just be a police officer for a minute real quick? And all I'm gonna do is just blow it out the way and let me go back to the store. So this is the last step. And this is called the sad stitch. Pretty much like um, you pretty much do this last stitch to make your patches. I don't know how much y'all can hear me with this machine, but this is pretty much like this last stitch that you also do make your patches. It just pretty much holds the whole um, embroidery piece together. And as y'all can see, I did do this with no stabilizer. Anything. It's just the chair itself. And I do got white thread that y'all can see this right here. And that's right there because I was embroidering this um, design at first. And the hoop I had was too small, I had a metal hoop. It was too small, so my needle hit the side of it and it broke the needle and bent it, so I had to start over. So this is the that came with the machine. But I was trying to do the magnetic hoop because that's a lot better, I think. You can use the magnetics to hold the magnets to hold the material down. You ain't got to do all this hooping. But trying to be cheap, I bought a generic one that doesn't go, that wasn't the main brand for this machine. So, yeah, I didn't get to get a clean cut. Pretty much, it's letting me know that my embroidery is finished, and it did its own. It did its own cutting and all that. So all I can do is just pull that out. But yeah, isn't that great, y'all? So I am finished with this. And what I would do is I will unhoop it, and then I'll take a picture and I'll show you guys what the whole design looks like, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Well, actually, I'll probably show y'all what it looks like once I put my chair back together. I'll show y'all what it looks like. But yeah, first of all, I'm proud that I was able to thread this machine with one hand. So I'm going to go back and look at the video, though, before I post anything. <laughs> so let me go ahead and hit the check mark because I am finished. And so now I'm going to unhoop and I'm done with the design, y'all. As always, thank you guys for watching. Be blessed.